How do you deal with disrespect? It can be very frustrating. But what if we could learn from the ancient philosophy of Stoicism, which teaches us how to handle difficult situations with wisdom? We will explore 10 practical Stoic principles that can help us cope with disrespect in a graceful way. Let's begin. 1. Keep your calm. One of the core teachings of Stoicism is that we are not disturbed by what happens to us, but by how we think about what happens to us. As Epictetus said, people are disturbed not by things, but by the view they take of them. This means that it is our judgment of it that makes us feel hurt or angry. This can help you keep your calm and not let their disrespect affect your emotional state. 2. Reflect on yourself Another important aspect of Stoicism is the practice of self-reflection and self-examination. The Stoics believe that the quality of our thoughts determines the quality of our lives and that we should always strive to improve ourselves and our actions. As Marcus Aurelius said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. When you face disrespect, it is essential to reflect on yourself and ask yourself questions like, is there any truth? in what the person said or did. Did I do or say anything that provoked this situation? How can I respond in a way that is consistent with my values and virtues? By reflecting on yourself and the situation objectively, you can gain a better understanding of the event and your own role in it. Three, learn to pause. Seneca once said, whenever you are angry, be assured that it is not only a present evil, but that you have increased a habit. Stoics believe in the importance of self-control and rationality. They argue that impulsive reactions driven by intense emotions like anger or frustration often lead to poor decisions and unnecessary suffering. When faced with disrespect, the Stoic approach encourages you to avoid reacting impulsively. Instead, take a moment to pause and collect your thoughts. This pause allows you to regain control over your emotions and gives you the opportunity to respond in a more measured and thoughtful manner. 4. Have empathy. Epictetus, another influential Stoic philosopher, says, Seek not the good in external things, seek it in yourselves. Stoics believe in the interconnectedness of humanity, and that understanding the motivations and emotions of others can lead to better interaction. When someone shows disrespect, Stoicism suggests practicing empathy. Try to put yourself in the other person's shoes and understand their perspective. Empathy can help you see the situation from a different angle and realize that the person's disrespect may not be personal or intentional. It may be caused by their own insecurities, fears, or ignorance. Empathy can also help you feel compassion for the person and reduce your negative feelings towards them. Five. Concentrate on virtue. One of the main ideas of Stoicism is to develop virtues such as wisdom and courage. These are the qualities that help us live well and act rightly. Seneca, a famous Stoic philosopher, wrote that virtue is nothing else than right reason. This means that being virtuous is the same as being rational and consistent with the natural order of things. Stoics believe that virtue is the highest good in life and that everything else is indifferent. When we face disrespect from others, Stoicism teaches us to focus on virtue in our response. This does not mean that we should ignore or tolerate the disrespect, but rather that we should respond in a way that reflects our Stoic values and principles. Six, embrace acceptance. One of the key lessons of Stoicism is to accept the things that are not in our control, such as the disrespect of others. Epictetus said, He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. This means that we should be grateful for what we have and not worry about what we lack. Stoicism also teaches us to distinguish between what is in our control and what is not, which is known as the Stoic dichotomy of control. We can only control our own thoughts, feelings, and actions, but not the external events or the biavior of others. 7. Use humor. Sometimes a little laughter goes a long way. As the ancient philosopher Seneca said, you have mastered yourself when you know how to deal with what you should not take seriously. Stoicism teaches us to control our emotions and act rationally 
but it also recognizes the value of humor in coping with challenging situations. Humor can help us keep our emotional balance and avoid getting too angry or annoyed when someone disrespects us. 8. Set clear boundaries. Stoicism is not about being a doormat. It's about being a rock. A rock that stands firm in the face of disrespect and injustice. A rock that knows its worth and demands respect from others. A rock that controls what it can and lets go of what it can't. When someone disrespects you, you don't have to take it lying down. You don't have to lash out in anger either. You can be calm and assertive. You can tell them what they did wrong and how you expect them to treat you. You can set clear and reasonable boundaries that protect your dignity and self-respect. 9. Choose forgiveness. Imagine someone disrespects you. How do you react? Do you lash out in anger or do you let it go? The ancient philosophy of Stoicism has some wisdom to offer. Stoics believe that forgiveness is not a favor to the other person, but a gift to yourself. Forgiveness is the key to inner peace and happiness, but forgiveness is not easy. It does not mean forgetting or approving what happened. It means choosing to release the negative emotions that are hurting you more than anyone else. Stoics say that we should forgive all, but not indiscriminately. We should forgive wisely, with compassion and justice. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and let go of what we can't. We can't control how others behave, but we can control how we respond. We can choose to forgive and free ourselves from the burden of anger and resentment. We can choose to move on with a sense of inner peace and tranquility. 10. Change your perspective. Perspective is the ability to see things from a broader and more objective point of view. It helps you to avoid overreacting or taking things personally when someone disrespects you. Instead, it helps you to realize that disrespect is not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. As the Stoic Emperor Marcus Aurelius said, Our life is what our thoughts make it.